What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. This right here is a little requested video from one of the viewers going over a Stasis Warlock max dps build for end game whatever you may be taking this into so we're gonna get right into it definitely plays heavy on the stasis weapons and we can take it in for any champions as well as any shields so this is a very universal build here so starting off as always we're in our shade binder class for our stasis warlock going over our abilities aspects and fragments so it's totally up to you for healing or empowering and your burst to glide as well as our only stasis melee with penumbral blast now for grenades again totally up to you cold snap also a very good choice but i went with dust field one because they're good at that aoe keeping everybody at bay and with that minute 04 base cooldown on this bad boy you really can't go wrong with that building this out to get a lot of those stasis turrets and be able to throw a decent amount of dust field grenades now for our aspects we're going to use glacial harvest so freezing targets create stasis shards around them higher tier combatants create more shards this is going to be important for that dps side of this build collecting those will give us some nice high damage output for our stasis weapons now on top of that we're pairing with bleak watcher so we can convert that grenade into a stasis turret which allows us to freeze a lot more enemies which again allows us to get a lot more of those stasis shards so it's a nice little pairing of these two aspects to basically perpetually give us frozen targets and stasis little crystals and shards now for our first fragment, we got Whisper of Conduction. So those stasis shards that we're creating track to our position. Also a positive gives us plus 10 to resilience and intellect. Next up, we got Whisper of Shards. So shattering those stasis crystals gives us a grenade recharge boost. So this is super nice because we're using those dust fields very often to create our stasis turrets. And with 80 in our discipline, having this really gives us our grenades back decently fast on top of collecting those stasis shards and elemental wells. Next off, we got Whisper of Rending. So right here, our primary weapons do increase damage to those stasis crystals and frozen targets. This is important. Like I said, we're going to be freezing a lot. And with our primaries, they are both stasis weapons to deal with different champions in a pulse rifle and an SMG. So both of those are going to annihilate frozen targets and just produce more stasis elemental wells, stasis shards for us. And last but not least, we're going with Whisper of Chain so when we're near frozen targets or stasis crystals we take reduced damage this just comes in clutch end game with those stasis turrets freezing everything we're going to be able to stay alive a little bit longer just making sure we have that end game potential with this build here now moving on to weapons we got two choices in our primary slot my main one i'm going with is prolonged engagement here with feeding frenzy adiago that nice stasis smg for overload champions plus this is definitely the better pairing for this build instead of using our other option which is Cinco Patient 53 another stasis primary both of those will do extra damage because of that fragment that we have onto our stasis crystals and frozen targets and then because this pulse right here for this season we'll be able to deal with anti-barriers but definitely most of the time especially if there's no champions you have to deal with go in with prolonged engagement engagement better for ad clear in my potential now back in that up right here we have dead messenger so we have that fundamentalist so we're able to use this wave frame for our void solar and arc shields so this is that nice potential for end game just clearing out all of those shields with match game so we don't got to worry about getting in on something with our primary energy and heavy with all different burns this thing does it all and backing that up as well we got reed's regret 
I wish I had Vorpal on this, but I got Clown Firing Line. Very good for that stasis damage with what we have in Phantom Light on our armor pieces. Trying to craft the new seasonal one, Forged Fire. So we'll see if I can get that. It's a triple shot linear fusion with Vorpal. So I'm going to do a little testing and see how that is. But definitely going to be a Reed's Regret or that new seasonal weapons Forged in Fire, which is also a stasis linear. Now moving on to the mods, which are ever important in destiny and these builds first off we got harmonic siphon so those stasis elemental defeats with our weapons are going to have an increased chance of giving us orbs of power so that's going to be clutch for other mods that we have on plus we have elemental armament so those weapon defeats with stasis weapons have chances of creating elemental wells of the stasis variety which we are going to use very very heavily for this build here now for our arms, we're gonna be using anti-barrier pulse or that overload SMG, depending on what you're going into and the champions that are available there. We're also using grenade kickstart. So when we throw out that stasis grenade, whether it be in dusk field form or in the turret form, we're gonna get a little bit of that energy back. Kind of like I was saying, we're using this to definitely spam our stasis grenades, create a bunch of frozen enemies, create those stasis shards everywhere. Now on top of that, we're using elemental time dilation. So those elemental well mods that grant us time limited benefits stack increasing the duration. So this is very important because we're gonna be able to stack two different fonts of might, which gives us about 17 seconds of damage increase for stasis weapons. And this elemental time dilation is super key for that part of the build. Now moving on to our exotic for this build, we're using the mantle of battle harm. Now the reason for this is takedowns with weapons that have matching damage type to your subclass grant us super energy. So we're using this because of that stasis SMG and prolonged engagement as well as our pulse rifle and syncopation. Both those defeats will grant us a nice increase in super energy allowing us to pop our shade spinder and just annihilate all the adds in the area. Plus it is very good at damage and if we're getting it back super super quickly we're able to just juice DPS constantly with our super keeping everything at bay. So definitely seemed like the best exotic for this build for some max DPS. Plus this shade binder super is great at ad bay as well. Now for our mods, we're going with Phantomite. This will be our first of two. So picking up those elemental well mods that match our subclass, grant us bonus damage type for weapons of that same subclass. So when we pick up those stasis elemental wells, we're gonna get a damage buff, like I said, for about 17 seconds because we're stacking two of these, one on our chest piece, one on our legs, and we'll be able to do increased damage on both our SMG as well as our Reed's Regret or our Linear Fusion, whatever we may be using so it's very good for that extra damage and it does go up quite a bit and for 17 seconds that is a long time in destiny most damage phases are around there if not just slightly wronger but you're able to just juice all that dps the entire time with that buff then on top of that we're just using linear fusion reserves for our reads regret or that forged and fire triple shot stasis linear fusion now moving on to our boots, we got recuperation. So it gives us health every time we pick up orbs of power from that harmonic siphon and also innervation. So we're gonna get grenade cooldown every time we pick up orbs of power. Definitely why I really, really like the SMG more for creating more stasis elemental wells, as well as more orbs of power. So both of these get procced. And as well, this is our second Phantom Might. So we're able to stack those again on our chest piece and our boots because of elemental time dilation on our arms here. Now, last but not least on our class item, super important for this is elemental shards. So those stasis shards that we're creating by frozen targets and those frozen defeats also count as elemental wells. So we're able to keep that font of might proc almost consistently with getting either elemental wells from actually getting those weapon defeats with our SMG or our stasis weapons, or just getting frozen target defeats, or just in general freezing a target spawns some of those stasis shards. So it's very, very easy to get those to track to our position with our fragments and they are just everywhere. 
Now on top of that, to make this even more of an end game build, we got advanced scout. So the champions that we stun take additional damage from teammates. And then lastly, we got low entropy superconductor. So our stasis melees stun unstoppable champions, just bringing it all together, being able to stun all of those different champions like i said with the smg being for overload our pulse being for anti-barrier and then our melee being for unstoppable so this build without using anything really but stasis we're able to deal with all of our champions as well as get some crazy dps on bosses with our weapons as well as popping our super very very often because of our exotic and the amount of orbs that we're going to be creating with harmonic siphon and just all of those stasis turrets with getting our grenade back faster so this build very very suitable for end game breaking all of those shields and definitely it does some crazy damage being able to pop super consistently as well as that font might like i said stacking up to 17 seconds pretty consistently so juicing juicing enemies with our linear fusion so thank you guys so much for watching. Truly appreciate that support. Hopefully, my viewer, this is what you were looking for. Some crazy, crazy potential with this build. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.